honor of a call for tenure. To test the strength of the honor. Any other idea? Thank you very much. It's funny. Nervous about the price of the coffee. Sorry? Nervous because of the price of the coffee. Oh, all right. It's a quick glitch. It's a flaws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, different people come up with the most incredible solutions. So, someone said recently at another session that they were testing it for their cat because this was the uh, carpet they were buying specifically for their cat. And would their cat like the consistency of their carpet? Okay, which is great. So, this is one type of. Um, Activity making facts about is a great activity as well, where there is nothing making up. Uh, what, what kind of activity would that be? Elaboration, fluency, flexibility. What do you think? Elaboration, yeah, fluency. and fluency because you've got to produce lots of ideas. So, who is this young woman? What is her name? Where is she from? What is her job? It could be a person, it could be an object, it could be a scene. It could be a, a, a whole situation. So you can start with very simple things, depending on the language syllabus you have, and go into very complex images and so on. Um, another one, a very interesting activity, which is also quite interactive, and you can do that as teachers, uh, but it, it's fun with students as well, is called preoccupations. And in preoccupations, what you do is you give each student a preoccupation and they have to start a conversation and each person has to draw the conversation back to their topic. You can choose student topics. One of you can have spiders as a preoccupation and the other one, you know, racing cars. Or you can choose a teacher preoccupation. One of you can have, a, you know, preoccupied with drilling and another one with role plays. Would you like to have a go? and try to see how that activity works. Okay, very quickly, start, choose one of the two and start a conversation with a partner, trying to draw the conversation towards your topic. Did you see? If you don't want to do it, just look at the screen. You can't have to participate. Because if you don't know it's fine. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. they created a crazy caption, Queen Elizabeth meeting new fellow members of all girly band, <laughs> she has decided to join upon retirement, their costumes were all designed by Jean-Paul Gaultier, the band name which <coughs> is going to be the Grateful Undead. <laughs> this was a group of students, a group of teachers uh, imagined, looked at this picture and created some activities. Imagine a conversation between a group of fashion designers looking at this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Try to calculate another activity. Try to calculate how much the total cost of everything you can see in the picture. How much does everything cost? What are they saying and what are they thinking? 
So the activities can be generative in both directions, both for language learners and for students. And I want to finish by looking, showing you some of the activities which are listed on my handout. Uh, these are very uh, clearly, I think, explained. For example, list making, brainstorming, multiple responses, and contradictions, that are, these are explained. Uh, predicaments are explained to you. Um, expansion activities, perhaps we haven't gone through, but I think uh, it's not be difficult to follow. Um, the, the activity that I really like, uh, and uh, students really find it very challenging, is the one uh, that says the keep going on activities. It could be keep asking questions, which is quite challenging, or keep avoiding saying yes or no, you know yes. the game. Yeah. It's based on this game. So you can change it in whatever way you want. And that really seems to work very well with flexible thinking. Thinking quickly on your feet because they're quite dramatic. Okay, I'm done. I tried to sell you the idea of being <laughs> I tried to sell you the idea that creative thinking skills um, development is very important in teachers and in learners, particularly in language acquisition contexts, but also for teachers. We have very demanding jobs. We need all the skills we can get to deal with our difficulties. That there are different aspects of creative thinking that we can isolate and work on. That we do need some uh, controlled training. But also, I want to stress the fact that then you need to extend and expand and take it away from the small type of activity and move it into larger project work and more demanding creative work. Thank you very, very much for coming. Uh, if some of you are interested, if some of you are interested in uh, teacher education, in the teacher education aspect of it, I have